the topic, illegal immigrants. In recent years, we usually can see the illegal immigrant social problems in Taiwan's news, such as immigrant workers and foreign brides. Immigrant workers play an important character in Taiwan's labor force market. We can, they are the main force of looking after the elderly, and we also can see their working figure in Taiwan's factory, construction site, and even restaurant. For example, we can see many of them in any translation like Taoyuan Zhongli translation and Taidong translation. The significance of immigrant workers seems not have the equal value in Taiwan. They don't have labor unions to protect their rights, so they need to, only the civil society organization can speak for them. However, this organization has goal are too small, so they need to depend on other general labor group. And they have limited to reserve the ability. The legislation in Taiwan didn't provide enough protection to the immigrant worker. When they suffer the abuse and sexual harassment or other illegal treatment from their employers, most of them can't resist but be oppressed. And they may be because they may be repatriated during the investigation. Also, they must long to pay the secondary fee before they can to Taiwan. If they be repatriated, not only can't make money to improve their life, but also have to need to carry a huge debt. Therefore, most of them choose to forbear when they suffer the unfair treatment. Maybe some of the immigrant workers have another purpose when they work in Taiwan, like engage illegal industry, gambling, or taking drugs. But I believe that most of them would like to make money to improve their economic situation and have a better life. This also related to the appearance of the illegal immigrants. Most of the illegal immigrants are from this country, and we can see that on the picture. In my opinion, I agree that illegals stay. Now I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take American for example. Uh, an employer wants to increase pro profits and wants to reduce costs um, as much as, pos as possible. Um, however, you have to know that hiring illegals is not only low pay, but also they are willing to work for a job that Americans are not willing to do. So this leads to an employer tending to hiring illegals. Some people think that this has affected the wages and employment opportunity of some American workers. But that remember what Bernard Anderson said. They work hard and not being and not just being lazy and enjoy welfare in the United States. So I think that we should allow them to stay in the United States after they paying a fine for being illegals. Um, I'll show you five examples uh, what actually immigrant cost in America nowadays. Uh, first, high crime rate. Um, some of the immigrants, they don't really treat well um, by the society of America. Uh, like, they don't get, they get poor salary or extra security, or even being racist. Um, as police, um, 
most of them uh, were dissatisfied about the uh, American yeah. and it's easily to cause some problems. Uh, stealing, killing, or even breaking. Yeah. Um, and since uh, 2013 to 15, about 86,000 criminal uh, related was immigrant. It's almost 15%, which is a huge amount. And second is a, a bad taxes. Um, about 66% of immigrants are illegal immigrants, which means they are undocumented, undocumented and they don't pay tax to the government, but they still enjoy the social welfare. And this makes the quality of the welfare be exploitation. And surprisingly, uh, about 62% of family which is built by the illegal immigrant does enjoy almost as same welfare as an uh, average American family. The third one is cheap labor. Um, with cheap labor, most companies prefer to apply an immigrant rather than an American. And suddenly the low skill job were taken almost taken by the immigrant. And even now, the employee rate for immigrants is lower than the America, which is uh, 4.3 and 5, 5 uh, percent. Yeah. Uh, the fourth is a uh, terrorist problem. Uh, since 911 till last year, 2017, about 380 terrorist attacks um, were committed with uh, immigrants. Like last year, um, a, a 29 years old man drove a car in New York City uh, at October 31st, which is also Halloween, and he just bumped at the person he saw, and at last he killed about eight, eight people, and 50 person is uh, badly injured, and he's also an illegal immigrant already lived in America for three years. Um, the last one is immigration policy cost. Um, every year, less about 30,000 um, immigrants comes to America. And now there less about 60 million people in total. About one over five percent of the whole American population, um, and America has to spend about three hundred billion dollars to solve the immigrant problem, like stress the security of the border or set shelter for the homeless immigrant. So as for me, I am in favor of Donald Trump's policy. It helps to control American society. Thanks. Earning money and surviving people from developing country come to Taiwan to raise their to raise their family in their hometown. They come to a country where the language and culture are very different. However, with a certain economic level and education level, it is common for foreign workers to be bullied. In order to earn a better salary, they They have to have a part-time job privately to ensure the source of their household. Um, in my opinion, 
they are not coming to cheat and steal money. They just want to make a living. However, some Taiwanese companies value to this cheap and easy to use people, giving them slight salary and exploit them. And for foreign female workers, there may even be a problem, such as sexual exploitation and sexual harassment. These cases occur in the corner of society. Certain the ability of them to earn a living. These immigrants, these immigrants do not have all the bad things for Taiwan. Although illegal immigrants are not alone exist in national laws. Then they they are willing to devote themselves into the low-level work, such that Taiwanese people are unwilling to do, just like help take care of elderly people, which is helpful as our community enters into the aging society. Therefore, this immigrant job opportunity has turned to immigrant worker with with slight salary and high and all. Foreign worker foreign workers from Southeast Asia are often males. They may cause women who work outside a night will be unsafe. And they often gather in the railway stations or other places to lead to the traffic confusion or become the origin of riots. If the illegal immigrants not only take the jobs they have reported to the government, but also take part take part in other jobs privately. They may take away the chance of employment of domestic young people to become a serious problem for to become a serious problem for development of our country. But the, but the But the nations of those illegal immigrants still take lots of benefits from them. Moreover, most of illegal immigrants do not take taxes, but they can but they still can enjoy the same welfare with our citizens. It will make the welfare the natives can get to be decreased, and our citizens our citizens will not be guaranteed. Furthermore, some numerical pregnancies are abandoned, which, which, which was captured by those illegal immigrants were abandoned in Taiwan. They can have household registration, even can even can even can repay trade them to their hometown. Only can become the people who lack a household registration in Taiwan. Therefore, if we want to feed these abandoned babies, we still have to use Taiwan's resources. It will increase our economic burden. The, the, above, the above factors are the reason why these illegal immigrants will be sentenced or be repatriated. 
if they were found by the National Immigration Agency because the social problems that bring will affect the operation of our country and the government cannot guarantee the personal safety of them and our own citizens. a conclusion of illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants can divide into two parts. One is the overstaying residing visa and the other is the illegal arrivals. The illegal immigrants want to earn the money so they will do the work that Taiwanese didn't want to do, such as take care of the elderly or do the low skilled manpower. But they just get scanty wages. And in the other hand, the illegal immigrants may increase the crime rate if they were all gathering at the station. And it may cause traffic jam. And our country needs to deploy more policemen to control. And in the end, because the illegal immigrants' wages is cheaper than Taiwanese labor, they will take away the work chance of young people. A lot of the news has reported, and but it didn't arouse our attention in our society. And the relative administrative unit didn't bring up the effective solutions. I think they'll have the work chance or not is the incentive of the illegal immigrants. And if we want to solve the problem, I think we can stress control the labor market or assist the country economy where the illegal immigrants from. Mm, just like we can go to their country to set up a factory and provide them a work chance. And they have the work and we can earn money and they have the chance to work. So and with the their country economy to with the come with then achieve the economic goal. They can stay at their country to earn the money, maybe use the wages to pay for the school fee or buy the lunch for their family. So they won't go to the other country to do the intensive labor work. So all of this is our opinions of illegal immigrants. Thank you.